Today is going to be a fantastic day. We are going to do a lot of activities and uh, we do have some listening. Uh, handouts are ready, I guess. Yeah, we do have handouts as well. We will do some listening and mainly we are going to work on English pronunciation. What are we going to work on? <laughs> English pronunciation, right? So I'll teach you some basic sounds and after that I will play some audios of native English speakers and how they pronounce their language, how they actually speak their language, their accent, their pronunciation. So this is what we are going to do. When it comes to speaking English, it is very important to speak English like English people speak. If you speak local English, locally, it's okay, no problem. People will be happy, they'll be fine with that. But internationally or globally, at least you should have a standard accent of English. I mean, it's uh, quite difficult to develop British or American accent as you're going to stay in Pakistan, but you can actually have standard accent of English. Now, what is standard accent of English? Standard accent is like your English is not Punjabi styled English. Your English is not Pashto styled, Urdu styled English. It is out of that. So we call it accent reduction. Accent reduction. Reduction means if I say I want to tell you, see, you can smell Punjabi. Right? So what is accent reduction? Accent reduction is if I say, I want to tell you, so I'm reducing that Punjabi accent from my English. This is called accent reduction. Clear? So that's what we are going to do and you're going to enjoy a lot. I tell you why. When you pronounce different sounds and you will feel different. You'll say, ha, huh, look at me. Now I'm twisting my face, twisting and all that. Okay? So we'll have all these activities uh, today. Ready for that? Yes. Okay, you guys are giving good vibes today, huh? I have brought my daughter with me today. So in the second half of the class, she's going to talk to you. She will, expire, uh, she will share her experience, how I taught her English. In fact, I actually learned to teach English from my son first and then from my daughter. My son was hardly six months and I started speaking English. Like once I remember he was one year old and I was speaking English. We went to our relative's house. And my relative looked at my son, looked at me, looked at my son, looked at me, and it said, Tu yangrezi bol na ote bun kushwini da kenda. Right? So that was the time he was absorbing the language skill and all that. And then afterwards, like after the age of one, then he started. And uh, I speak English with my children. My wife speaks Urdu. And uh, the maid who comes to our house, she speaks Punjabi. So my children can now speak Punjabi, Urdu, English, all three languages, right? So she's going to share how I taught her English and what she learned and everything about that. Okay, so anyways, let's take a start. As you know, in English language, we have 35 alphabets. <laughs> this is what we call hello testing mic check. We call it hello testing my check. I wanted to see that. Kitne log hain jo sun rahe hain, samaj rahe hain. Varna 2 plus 2, 5, achha aage chalo. Theek hai. No problem. So please be active. How many letters? Ab to mujhe bhi bhool gaya. How many letters? 26 letters in English alphabet. Oh gosh. So the first letter is A. Now, uh, we start from here and then gradually we'll go on. The first letter is A and uh, I mean there are two things. Either we say A or we say A. a. Now say a. 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 Gently this time say A. a. Now say angrily a. a. Now say politely A. 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 Good. All right. All right. <laughs> I told you, you will enjoy, right? So, M-A-T, net. Now, you will focus these ta-ta sounds. M-A-T, net. Right? M-A-T, net. Very good. M-A-T-E, good. Now, A is giving the sound of A, so this is mate. Now, all you need to do, your jaw will open wide. Mate. Mate. Put your hands here. Both hands. Yeah. Mate. 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 See this opening of jaw. Can you feel? Mate. Otherwise, say mate, mate, mate. 
It will not open, right? Say again, mate. 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 All right, that's good. So this is a sound, like one is mat, like mat, cat, right? So how do you pronounce this word? Play. Again, a. Play. 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 All right, for the time being, install the spirit of any English person inside you. Right? Say, okay. 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 Right? So, mate. Repeat, mate. mate. Play. 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 Now say, I want to play. I want to play. See that? better <laughs> me. Yeah? I want to play. And you find yourself that you're a different person. I want to play. I want to play. Good job. Fantastic. So, imitation is the best way to improve your pronunciation. Imitation. What is imitation? Copy. To copy someone, to repeat someone. Sometimes someone says something, you are looking beautiful, say, you are looking beautiful, something like that, you know? This is what we call imitation. So imitation is the best way to improve your English pronunciation. Now, when I give you the handout, we do listening, you will focus A sound. Is that clear? Yes. Now, after A, we've got the next letter B which is fine, you pronounce it well. So we have no issues with the letter B. The next important letter is C. Okay, now, for example, in Urdu language, what is this? Right, and in Urdu language, what is this? Right, right. So actually, what we do, we pronounce C as Ka. Actually, C is like K. Okay, now, what is it? Cat. See now, Englishman inside. Cat. Yeah, cat. All right. Cut. Cut. Like you say in Punjabi, ki khatea. Yeah, and you say khatta. Like that, okay? So, cut. Cat. And t. t. This t is important. Cat. Cut. Now say this, hold your, bo your both hands here. Come on, come on, come on everyone. Say, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. See that? Don't say come on, come on, come on. Come on. M and O N will be joined, come on. Come on. Come on. Good job, very good. All right, now see that, as I said, English pronunciation is all about intonation, imitation. And if you imitate right now, you are fully charged, you are imitating. After that, you go outside, tum cat kahogi, nahi, main cat hi So then you go back and you, you don't improve it. So you need to take these things along from here. And next time when you speak English like this, people will make fun of you, I'm telling you. They will laugh. But after that, they will realize that this is the right one. Okay, now let's just move on. Next, we've got another one, CH. CH. Does anyone have a lighter? Lighter? Can we get a matchbox or lighter or matchbox if possible? You have a lighter? Huh? Kloja te mume dasa, okay? All right. Sometimes, you know, I, I used to have a lighter for activities. I don't smoke at all. Thank God. So, CH. Now, CH is, have you ever drunk Pepsi, tea, Mirinda, Sprite, one and a half liter bottle? You open it first time. First time, first time, not third time. <laughs> not third time, second time, then you say, Iski gas khatam hogi, like that. Not like that, okay? So, when you open that first time, it sounds like, Ch. So that is actually the first CH sound. Now say China. 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 Chocolate. 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 China. China. Chocolate. Chocolate. Now say wow. Wow. Chinese chocolate. Chinese chocolate. Good job. Very good. Now you guys can do one thing. You must be having some papers. Any small paper and you can cut it and now you have this small slip in your hand how to check you are right or you are wrong okay any small paper sheet like this so when you say China China it's not moving but when you say China China 
<laughs> okay, this paper, <laughs> this paper is going to move, and you understand now you're saying China, right? A pressure of air is going to come out of your mouth. Now, say again, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. chocolate. China. China. Now, don't say China. Yeah, with your hand, you move it, China, and all that. Okay, so this is very nice one. For example, if you say, uh, cat, 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 cat. 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 Chocolate. chocolate, China, China, China. 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 clear? Yeah. yeah, and be careful, yeah, don't spit on others' face by saying China, okay? <laughs> I say that. This is another thing. All right, second CH sound is like K. As you say, chemistry. <laughs> we don't say chemistry, biology, chemistry, physics. It's chemistry. 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 Tree. Tree. Chemistry. 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 Thank you. Chemical. 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 Chemistry. Chemistry. Chemical. Chemical. Good job. You're all understanding what we are doing? Okay. So this is the second sound. And the third sound is CH in words that come from French language. You know, in English, we have French words also. French words like chef. chef, chef is French word, uh, chauffeur, driver, chauffeur, chef, chauffeur, so over there we pronounce it as sh, okay, now ch as ch, ch as k, and ch as sh, is that all clear, okay, that's very good, after this the next letter is d, and we have no issues with d, our D is fine. Next is E. E is fine. Uh, F. Now, one thing. How do you pronounce it? I want to see. Come on, come on. Again? 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 All right. Now, listen. In English properly, whenever you pronounce F, you're going to bite your lower lip with your upper teeth. Like you say, eh? Hmm? When you get angry with someone, you bite your lower lip with upper teeth. So when you pronounce F, F, now say fire, 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 fire four, 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 five, four, five, 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 good, right? So bite your lower lip with upper teeth and then pronounce F, 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 F. good, clear? Any issues with that? No. All right, next we've got G, and you pronounce G correctly. G has two sounds, one is J, one is G. Before E, I, it's J, otherwise it's G. Next we've got H. Uh, a common mistake, how will you pronounce this word? Honest. Yes, yeah, some people say honest, which is wrong. The right one is? Honest. honest. H will be? Silent. Silent. Honest. Okay, honest or H O U R? Our or R? Both ways it's fine, no issues. Our or R? You pronounce it well, okay? All right, after that we've got I. I is okay, you pronounce it well, G H I. Next, J. J is okay, but the next one is K. And this K is the same K which we use in Punjabi. And we put this K in people's head. There is sircha K pavit. Something like that. You know that K? What is that K? Matti. Dust, matti, whatever. So you will pronounce it as? K. 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 Yeah. You know when you say K, you become okay. Yeah. And in, in, in Urdu, we say, in Punjabi, we say okay, so okay. Okay? So okay. So don't say so okay, only say okay. okay. Now, Open your eyes wide and then say, okay. Okay. Okay, Nikul Teens, huh? Chinese eyes, again, open your eyes wide and say, okay. Okay. Yeah, look at him, facial expressions. <laughs> yeah, excellent, very good. That's what we need. We need good facial expressions as well, right? So again, say, okay. 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 Kite. Kite. King. 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 Kangaroo. 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 Okay, that's good. See that? Yeah, okay. 
All right, K. Then after this, we've got L. We pronounce it well. M, we pronounce it well. N, we pronounce it well. The next one is... Now say, oh. Oh. Right? Exactly. So it's not O. Oh, it's actually going to be O. Oh. Right? So the words like hope. One is hope. I have no hope. You have hope. <laughs> okay? So now please pronounce it as hope. 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 All right. Hope. hope. Good. So O will be pronounced like that. How will you pronounce this word O I L? Oil. Not oil. oil. It's oil. 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 Good. All right. After this uh, O sound, very important sound is actually P. Good. Again, not P. You will pronounce it P. What do you call your father's sister? Popo. Yeah. And in Punjabi, what do you call your father's sister? Popi. So the second part of second part of word Popi is actually this P. All right. Now just say Pashto. Pashto. Do you speak Pashto? Do you speak Pashto? One is, do you speak Pashto? One is this. Second, do you speak Pashto? All right, Pakistan. Pakistan. Very good. Now just say pen, pocket. All right, now say my pen is. In my pocket. In my pocket. My pen is. My pen is. In my pocket. In my pocket. 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 Mm, mm, yeah. <laughs> Don't say. <gasps> mm, not, not like that. Simply pocket. 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 Very good. So you got this P sound. Right? It's all clear. After this, we've got Q. And by the way, Q and K, they have the same sounds. So Q, say quality. 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 Okay, this time you will do it like this and say, any question? Any Come on, use your hand, use your hand. Any question? Any question? Any question? Any question? Good, right? Question, quality, quantity, queen, queen. 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 All right, like ker, ker sound, right? So after Q, the next letter is R. In British English, R is soft. In American English, R is a bit harsh. For example, Americans will say mother, father, brother. British people will not even pronounce R. They say father, mother, sister, sister. That's it. Americans, sister, brother, I don't care, care, American, care, I don't care, right? So R is soft in British English and it's harsh in American English, right? But that's simply fine. Okay, then we have R and then S and T, another important sound, T. All right, now just say total, total. total. Now this time you will move your hands two times and then you will say this. Try, try again. Now don't forget a sound. Again. One is again. One is again. Again. Try, try again. Try, try again. Very good. Try. Okay, now you will not say try, try again. <laughs> Try, try, and all that. Try. try. Okay, that's lovely. So T will be pronounced like the T sound. Okay, after that, we've got U. It's important. U has two sounds in English. One is J. Now just say J. J. University. J. 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 J.
Unique. Unique. Okay. Whenever you gives the sound of j, it's not a vowel. You know vowels in English? A, E, I, O, U. These are five basic vowels. So when you gives the sound of j, it's not a vowel. That's why we say our university. It's our unique idea. But when I say umbrella, umbrella. So in umbrella, you is giving a different sound. That sound is a vowel sound. So you can say an umbrella. An, umbrella. an umbrella. But our university. Okay. Now, the next sound is V. And how to pronounce V, we are going to learn it. Uh, there is a close relationship between V and F. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to move from F to V. All of you, please look at me. Say F. F. And stay there. Where you make your face or all that, stay there. F. F. V. V. F. V. 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 F. F. V. F. F. V. V. So, volcano. 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 Right? This is, I mean, this is where you start your V sound, right? Okay, T, U, V, and then we've got W. This is fine. No issues with that. X, Y, and Z or Z. All right, once I was uh, conducting spoken English class and I asked my students, please tell me English alphabet. And there was that guy, he started. He said, so, okay, sir, I tell you English alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. And Q, he also took a bit of a Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. He said Z. I said, gentlemen, why did you say Z? He said, sir, I speak American English. <laughs> okay. So, Z is American, Z is British. By only saying Z and you say I spoke American English or anything like that, that's not polite. Okay, now let's just move on. I know we do have presentations as well. So I need the speaker and tab and the handouts as well. Right? You know all these sounds. What you're going to do, you're going to underline these sounds in the words. You're going to get the handout and then I'll play the audio. And you have to underline these sounds there. Okay, guys. Now, I'm going to come to you one by one. And you can see over there, it's written man, women, man, women, and all that. So, uh, I'll come to you where there is the man or where there is the woman. You have to read all the sentences. Okay? So, you can just practice. Now, let's start from you. First of all, there is man. So, Island holidays. Can I help you? Yeah, there's a question mark. Can I help you? Can I help you? Good. One from there. Sir? Yes, I hope so. I have a friend who's just come back from Corfu. Corfu, and she's recommended? She's recommended from apartments in Paris. Okay. She thought they might be... All right, so you should be fluent. Next one, dear. I will ask, I will ask like, you see, can you give me names? All right, next. Well, yes, the first was garden apartment. I would like to go with another friend. Okay, uh, just a second. You guys do one thing. Just until this part, 219 pounds. Please read it. Until 219 pounds. Clear? Just read it until there. I'll give you a minute until 219 pounds, then I'll play the audio. Uh, if you find any difficulty, any difficult word, anything like that, you can just do it. And also underline the words which are starting with C, P, T, K, right, C, H. Just underline those words so that you guys could see how do they pronounce them. Okay, now I play the audio. Please listen and focus. Peak Island Holidays, can I help you? Yes, I hope so. I have a friend who's just come back from Corfu and she's recommended some apartments in Aralus. She thought they might be on your list. Aralus, Aralus, let me see. Uh, can you give me the names? Yes, the first Rose Garden Apartments. I'd like to go with another friend in the last week of October. Well, we've got a lovely studio flat available at that time. I'm sure you'd enjoy the entertainment program there too, with Greek dancing in the restaurant. 
And the cost for each of us? £219. That sounds very reasonable. I'm just jotting down some notes. Now, the second one she mentioned was called Blue Bay. Blue Bay. Yes. In fact, that's very popular and it has some special features. Really? The main attraction is the large swimming pool with salt water. Mm, much healthier, I understand. That's right. And it isn't far from the beach either. Only 300 metres. And only around half a kilometre to some shops, so you don't have to be too energetic. Is it much more expensive than the first one? Let me just check. I think at the time you want to go, it's around £260. Uh, no, £275 to be exact. Right, I've got that. Now, there are just two more apartments to ask you about. Um, I can't read my own writing. Something to do with sun, sunshine, is it? I think you meant the sunshade apartments. They're on a mountainside. Any special features? Yes, each room has its own sun terrace and there are shared barbecue facilities. Oh, sounds lovely. Yes, it is rather well equipped. It also provides water sports. It has its own beach. There are facilities for water skiing. Any kite surfing? My friend's quite keen. Not at the hotel, but I'm sure you'll find some in Arillus. There's also satellite TV in the apartments. And how much is that one? £490 with two sharing. You mean £245 each? I'm afraid not. Each person has to pay that amount and there must be at least two in an apartment. Oh, I don't think that would be within our budget, unfortunately. And the last one sounds a bit expensive too. The Grand? Actually, it's quite reasonable. It's an older style house with Greek paintings in every room and a balcony outside. Sounds nice. What are the views like? Well, there are forests all round and they hide a supermarket just down the road. So that's very useful for all your shopping needs. Uh, there's a disco in the area too. And the price? £319 at that time. But if you leave it till November, it goes down by 40%. Mm, too late, I'm afraid. Well, why don't I send you a brochure with full details, Miss... Nash. But don't worry about that. I'm coming to Upminster soon and I'll call and get one. I just wanted to get an idea first. Well, that's fine. Uh, we've got plenty here when you come. OK, we just move on until question number 10. You hear the rest of the conversation... You have some time to look at questions. I'll listen and answer questions 6 to 10. If you've got a minute, could I just check a couple of points about insurance? I got one policy through the post, but I'd like to see if yours is better. Fine. Uh, what would you like to know? Well, the one I've got has benefits and then the maximum amount you can claim. Is that like yours? Yes, that's how most of them are. Well, the first thing is cancellation. If the holiday's cancelled on the policy I've got, you can claim £8,000. We can improve on that, Miss Nash. Uh, for Greek island holidays, our maximum is £10,000. That's good. Of course, our holiday won't even cost £1,000 together. It's still sensible to have good cover. Now, if you go to hospital, we allow £600. Yes, mine's similar. And we also allow a relative to travel to your holiday resort? My policy just says their representative will help you. You can see there's another difference there. And what happens if you don't get on the plane? Uh, nothing, as far as I can see on this form. Don't you have a uh, missed departure? No, I'll just jot that down. We pay up to £1,000 for that, depending on the reason. And we're particularly generous about loss of personal belongings, up to £3,000, but not more than £500 for a single item. Then I'd better not take my laptop. Not unless you insure it separately. OK. Thanks very much for your time. You've really been helpful. Can I get back to you? Your name is... Ben Ludlow. That's L-U-D-L-O-W. I'm the assistant manager here. I'll give you my number. It's... 081-260-543-216. But didn't I phone 
081-260-567294. That's what I've got on the paper. That's the main switchboard. I've given you my direct line. Right. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. All good. Now, listen, I give you five minutes for this activity. The person sitting right next to you, one of you is going to become man and one of you is going to become woman and you will speak all these dialogues. Clear on your own, like divide yourselves into small pairs and you're going to work two by two. One is man and one is woman and try to speak considering all the sounds that we learned. Please start it now. Very good, excellent. I really appreciate the energy and enthusiasm. All of you were doing so actively. This is very, very good. Now, the next activity is you're going to select one sentence from here, any one sentence up to the full stop. Learn that sentence by heart. And when I, comes, uh, when I come to you one by one, you're going to pronounce that sentence with good accent. Try to select a sentence where there are C sounds and K sounds, right? And don't select very short sentences. Say, May I help you? <laughs> okay, don't do that, okay? So you have two minutes. Select one sentence, right? Uh, for the next class, we are going to have a two minute presentation. And actually, the title of the presentation is Power Talk. Now, Power Talk is going to be a two minute motivational presentation. Right? I mean, you are here at Kasim Alisha Foundation and you don't motivate others or you don't get motivated. So, I need two minute Power Talk. It's going to be in English and you're going to motivate others, right? Say, ladies and gentlemen, life is given only once. Try to get the maximum. I don't need, ladies and gentlemen, life is given only once. You yourself are not motivated, right? For this power talk, you need to show your power, your energy. You will come and stand here. What is the purpose of your life if you don't know where to go? Believe me, you guys can fly high in the air. All you need to do, you need to open your wings. Power talk. Okay? So I'm, look at him. Yeah? Say, I'm going to be sick or I'm going to do something else. Something like that. Power or power? Actually, you can pronounce it both ways. Power or power, hour or hour, flower or flower. Right? Exactly. But one, one common mistake. As you asked, don't tell Jazara. Okay, <laughs> I'll tell you some more. Uh, wheat and what do we call the powder of wheat? Powder of wheat. Atte ko kya kehte hain? Flour, huh? Wrong. We call it flour. That is wrong. Flour is this farash? Yeah, gandum or farash. Wheat and flour. Actually, we call it flour or flour. Same pronunciation of pool and atta. Flour or flour or flower or flower, right? So you'll pronounce it. Okay, how will you pronounce this word? Pleasure. Yeah, not pleasure, it is pleasure. pleasure. Now please repeat after me. Pleasure, pleasure. Measure, 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 treasure, treasure. Leisure. leisure. Leisure means free time. Yes, oh, yeah, you're all energetic and Powerful, right? Exactly. That's very good. You're all energetic. So it's going to be a power talk for two minutes, right? One person will be here delivering the power talk. One will be sitting here waiting and will just switch very, very quickly. Is that all clear? I tell you again, I need power talk. Again, I'm telling you, I don't need any lazy talk or anything like that, right? You got to be active and alert. And in two minutes, you're going to motivate others. And uh, yeah, we'll have at least four to five uh, prizes also for the best power talk. Okay, we'll have it. Today, we'll have prizes as well. So for the power talk, we'll have prizes. So those who really, and, and we'll do one more thing. Okay, I request you all. Uh, the power talk, like the first five winners of the power talk, their videos will be uploaded on YouTube as well. Okay? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, then don't say, join my channel, like and subscribe. 
don't say that okay yeah <laughs> exactly you guys take it as an opportunity yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> exactly so it's going to be two minute power talk and we will upload if the power talk is really good we'll upload it on different media right exactly okay so uh, it's all done now i'm going to come to you and you're going to read one sentence you just have to do one thing stand up read sentence energetically and then sit down right let's from let's start from there now first you loud and clear well the first thing is cancellation if holidays cancel if uh, if the holidays cancel i have got uh, what will you claim what will you claim okay. yes what will you claim very good next one not at hotel but i'm sure you will find some in areas there are also satellites TV in apartment. TV. Satellite TV. Satellite TV. Yeah. Okay. Please look at them. Look at them. Next one. Well, the one I have got has benefits and the maximum amount you can claim is that like yours. All right. BBC ka nahi lagta. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Very good. Next one. Yeah. <laughs> लगरस तकिए के अंदर से आवाज निकल रही है स्टार्ट डू इट अगेन या वी डू जस्ट वन 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 ऑलराइट राइट जस्ट वन 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 डू इट या अब बोल लें जरा ऊंची आवाज में सोल्ट वाटर नॉट साल्ट सोल्ट वेट वेरी गुड प्लीज गो बैक फोर ऑफ यू प्लीज कम ओवर हियर सो प्लीज वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम देयर Loud and clear. Actually, it's quite reasonable. It's an old uh, style house with brick painting in every room and a balcony outside. Very good, excellent. That's good. Next one, please. Well, that's fine. We've got plenty here when you come. Okay, when you come. Next. Well, the first thing is cancellation. If the holiday is cancelled on the policy, I have got you can claim eight thousand pounds. Excellent. Very good. Next. Yes, I hope so. I have a friend who's just come back from Corfu, and she is recommended some apartments in Ayurveda. Excellent. She thought they might be on your list. Excellent. That's good. Very good. And uh, I will share this audio recording in our class group, and you can listen to it at least four to five times, and then practice. Next four, please. That's good. Of course, our holiday won't not won't even cost one thousand pounds together. It's still sensible to have good power. Now, if you go to hospital, we lost six hundred pounds. Ah, you just need to focus the way you are delivering the sentences. Okay, try to come up with speaking style. Next one, please. Well, the first thing is cancellation. If the holidays cancelled on the policy, I've got you can claim eight thousand pounds. Okay, just focus fluency. Next. You can see. There's another difference there, uh, and what happens if you don't get on plan? Okay, next one. Yes, I hope so. I have a friend who's just come back from Corfu, and she's recommended some apartments in Paris. She thought they might be on your list. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, see at least all of you are trying, and you are trying to read in a different way. That is really, really good. Okay, so. Uh, the next four, please. And quite surfing, my friends, quite clean. Okay, that's good. Next. Harry Lars, Harry Lars. Let me see. Can you give the names? Good. Next. Let me just check. I think at the time you want to go, it's around two sixty. No, two seventy to be exact. All right, two seventy to be exact. Next. Actually, it's quite reasonable. It's an older style house with great paintings in every room. All right, John. Well done. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Very good. Keep it up, guys. Ah, uh, okay. The next ones. You are left. Please come. You come next. Yeah. Yes, please. Come on. Well, the first thing is cancellation. If the holiday is cancelled on the policy, I have got you can claim eight thousand pounds. Great. This is very good. Next one. Yeah, I hope so. I have a friend who just came back from Corfu. She has an apartment in Arilas. She thought she might be in your list. Very good, excellent. Next one. Yes, the first rose garden apartment. I would like to go the, with another friend in the last week of October. Good job. Very good. Yes. Of course, our holiday will not even cost thousand 
11. Okay, that's good. Just try to be a little more fluent. Okay, well done. Excellent. Good job. Next four. Well, the first thing is cancellation. If the holiday is cancelled on the policy I got, you can claim 8,000 pounds. Good, very good. Next. I am afraid not. Each person has to pay that amount and there must be at least two in that apartment. Alright, now you should see, listen, if there are any punctuation marks and everything, you need to read accordingly. I'm afraid. I'm afraid means I'm sorry. Right? So if there is any comma, take a break there and then move on. Next. Actually, it's quite reasonable. It's an order style house with Greek paintings in our room and a balcony outside. That's it. Bolto do khatam ho gaya. Okay. Still sounds like he's going to read more. Next one. Right. I've got that. Now there are just two more apartments to ask you about. Um, I can't read my own writing. Something to do with some uh, sunshine, is it? Okay, that's good. But just add some more energy in your voice. All right. I have got that. Listen, you need to slow down, okay, and read again. Just slow down. All right, I have got that. So there are just two more apartments. Excellent. See, <laughs> facial expressions are English. Yeah. <laughs> Pure English facial expressions. Very good. Yeah. And? All right. <laughs> well done. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Very nice. Next one, please. The next four from the girls. Well, we have got a lovely studio flat available at the time. I'm sure you'd enjoy the entertainment program there too, with Greek dancing in the restaurant. Okay. Fantastic. That's good. Next one. Okay, good job. Yes, it is rather well equipped. It also provides water schools. It has its own beach. There are facilities for water skiing. Okay, just focus the fluency a little, otherwise, it's good. Just read it fluently, right? Next. If you have got a minute, could I just check, check a couple of points about insurance? I put my policy through the post, but I would like to see if you are expected. Uh, listen, you read it well, but the thing is when you are reading, make sure you understand what you read. And then don't focus reading, focus the message you are going to convey as well. So you need to focus your fluency because the way you read, it is word by word. It should be fluent sentence, right? Okay, thank you. Good job. Next one, please. Next four from the boys. Yes, please. It's still sensible to have good cover. Now, if you have to go to hospital, be allow 600 pounds. Okay, 600 pounds. Now. There. <laughs> good. My policy just says their representative will help you. Okay, next. Well, there are policies. Or the road, the high supermarket, market, just the road. <laughs> 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 Alright, okay. So that's very useful for all your shopping needs. There is a disco in the area too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Next one, please. Okay, okay, next one. Okay, I really appreciate your energy now. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Good job. Okay, so let's just go on. Uh, we finish with you guys. Please come here. Four by four. Well, we have got a lovely studio flat available at that time. I'm sure you will enjoy the entertainment program there too. With Greek dancing in the restaurant. Excellent. Super excellent. Keep it up. Very good. Next. It is much more expensive than the first one. Okay. Nash, but don't worry about that. I'm coming to a minister soon, and I will call and get one. I just wanted to get an idea from you. I don't think that would be reasonable budget, unfortunately. In the last one, some of the average expenditure, the grain. Okay, will you please read yours again? He. Nash, but don't worry about that. I'm coming to a minister soon, and I will call and get one. Good. I just wanted to get an idea. Please. Fantastic. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Next one, please. So, please, you first. Speak loudly. I'm, a, I'm afraid that 
written off. Each person has to pay the amount and you must be at least two in an apartment. Okay, that was too quick and too short. Thoda sa awaz nikale, uncha bolne, dubara bolne. I'm afraid not. Each person has to pay that amount and there must be at least two in an apartment. Okay, that's better. Next. Yes, I hope so. I have a friend who is just come back from Gorfu and she has recommended some apartments in LTS. She thought they might be on your list. Okay, good job. Next. Let me just check. I think at the time you want to go around. No, to That's good. Okay, just slow down a little and focus the sounds, okay? Next. Well, well the one I have got this has benefits and then the maximum amount she can pay. Is that like yours? Fantastic. Very good. Thank you. Good job. Please go back. Last ones, please. Yes, please. Yes, I hope so. I have a friend who just come back from Karfo and she recommended some apartments in Adelaide. She thought they might be on your list. That's good. Next. You can see, there's another difference there. And what happens if it turns it on plan? Okay, good job. Next, please. It sounds very reasonable. I'm just jogging down from north. Now the second one she mentioned was called Yogan. Okay, good job. Thank you. Now, please listen. I will share the same audio with you, right, in class WhatsApp group. So use your hand free, which you purchased from the class, some of you, you know, or you can have your own hand free. Listen to it first, listen to it with this handout, and after that, without handout, and then try to speak like them. And just do one thing, like before going to bed, last 10 minutes, listen to it, then go to sleep. And then you'll have, okay, good. Yeah, you'll have the dreams in English as well.